Three words, but very powerful. It has a way of changing and relaxing a man. You will change his mood, especially if you are the one that said this is him. Try it out and thank me later. If coming home is like a war zone, it's like coming to another argument and fight, he will never come home. Even if he does, he will come when he's late. When he knows that you won't be having the strength to start another argument. A home is supposed to be a place to run to and not to run from. Take a look at this. If you are doing this, please stop it. We ladies, we love these questions. We love our husband asking us, how are you doing? How was your day? How was your night? How are you doing? Do you feel hungry? Do you want to eat? Do you want to get some ice cream? Do you want to go to see the movie? Do you need money? If you feel, if as a lady you feel that these questions give you joy and makes you feel like a queen, why not make your husband feel like king by asking him those questions? It's not compulsory to spend on him, but answer him questions like, how are you doing? Hope everything is okay. How was work? How are you feeling? How was your night? It will, it will feel special, I guess, yeah. It will make him feel very special. Make it an habit today. This, most women don't like it at all. They always want attention. If you notice this, why not give him a space? Most men don't need this talk when they are having time with their selves. Most men have man cave. This is one of them. Some of them just want to be alone. Some of them just want to hang out with friends to just shit out. Some of them just want to watch footballs, play games. Some of them want to have time alone to meditate. If you feel your man is spending more time in his man cave, you can talk to him to schedule time for you rather than disturbing him. Do not. Do not. This is very important. Very important in every marriage, in every relationship. You are the one that knows his best potentials and struggles. You are the one that knows the kind of questions he's going to ask God up there. Why not put it in prayer? Kneel down and pray to God for your man. Let him see you do this. Not every time you ask for your own self. Put your man first, put your family first. If it's better for him, it's better for you. If it's better for you, it's better for him. It's a vice versa thing. I hope you copied the message. Nothing hurts a man feeling when they discover that the wife he, mar he, he, he loves and cherishes so much is a flirt that his spouse is shitting on him. Doing all this hurts him. Spare him the torture. Why torture your man? Some get depressed at the end of the day. Some get heartbroken. Some feel the pain and end up taking their lives. They end up losing it up here. Save him the torture and be faithful to your man. Be easy to talk to is very important. Most men go through struggles in their life and their wife is their only best friend. They trust no one except their wife. Don't be too hard to get. Don't be too hard to talk to. Be easy to talk to. Smile always. The smile of a woman, the man loves the most, keeps him going. It keeps him living. Your smile inspires him and makes him want to do more for you. To keep that smile checked. So, smile a lot. Don't be a funny wife. Don't be a grumpy wife. Don't be a grumpy wife. Smile a lot. It's important in marriage do this always kiss him 
kiss him on his cheek, on his nose, on his face, on his back, any part of the body you are comfortable with kissing. Kiss him and say the three words. Yeah, say these words. I love you and place a kiss. They feel so special. When you do this, they feel so special and happy inside. Massaging is the best, it's the bomb. Massage your man always. Invest in good massaging oils. If you can't afford one, get olive oil, shea butter oil, any oil. Get oil, moisturize the skin and massage him. Give him a soft, gentle massage. All these are form of marriage. Try it out and you will be glad you did. It will make him relax his mind and his nerves. Does your husband moan each time you give him a massage? I guess that's a no. If no, you need to improve yourself. Go and search for different massaging videos and learn from. Give him soft massage and a cool bath to relax his mind. Men loves it when you treat them like a king. Not every time we ladies want to feel special, make your man feel special. Do this and thank me later. Make new memories with him. For example, you guys are having a face time together. You can tell jokes. You can do whatever you want to be doing. If you are pleased with it, you can just have a real talk. If you trust the conversation is going to be safe, just good memories, teasing, tell him I love you, tell him funny jokes. This will recharge him and make him mix you more, especially if you both are apart. You will want to come earlier than expected. Help him financially. A lot of men go through stress. It's not every time they are having in their hands. Save him the stress. Some women, they want their husband to do everything as far as buying pad. Why not save him the stress? Why not cook a sweet delicacy with your own money? I'm not saying you should do it every day, once in a while. Take him out. Spoil your man. You can take your man for chopping. Out of 100%, only 5%, sometimes 2% of women do this. Why not invest in your man? It is your man, your married man, <laughs> your man, the one you are married to. I'm not saying you should invest in your boyfriend, please, your man, the one you call your husband, invest in him, it's very important. Try this, thank me later. So guys, that's all for the video, hope you enjoy it. Now, this is a quick one to the men because I know they are still watching me. After your lady do all this, after your wife does all of this, don't sit back and don't please her. Please her. Spoil her with money. We ladies, we love money. Spoil us with money. Spoil us with gifts. Take us on a date. Take us out to watch movies. Love her just the way she's showing you love. Because I know definitely she's going to do all of this. Everyone wants a sweet marriage. All oh, this is going to spice up to your marriage. So, when she does all this, when you notice your wife is doing all of this, please reciprocate the love. It's best to reciprocate the love. Don't be a stingy man. Don't be a stingy woman. Show love to your loved ones. If your man is not romantic, doing all this will make him change and be romantic. If your lady is not romantic, Doing all this will make him make her change and be romantic. If you feel I'm not saying the truth, you can try it to prove me wrong. Out of the points I've given you, why not do five and try if it's not going to change your marriage? So guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you enjoyed, it, please give me a thumbs up, like this video, subscribe to this channel if you are yet to, and don't forget to share. Sharing is caring. Drop a comment. See you on my next video. Bye.